So for my new PC build, I have decided to go with a high quality premium power supply that will deliver stable voltage for my high-end Intel CPU. I'm using a Core i9 processor and my NVIDIA GPU. So the power supply that I will be using, it's from Antec. So the model name is Neo Eco and uh, this is a 1000 watt power supply. So the exact model name is NE1000G. Now the good thing about this power supply is that it's completely modular in design. It's a 1000 watt 80 gold plus rated power supply and it's fully compatible with ATX 3.0 and PCIe 5.0 standard. So the best part about this power supply is that it comes with the PCIe 5.0 12 volt high power 16 pin GPU cable that you can use with the latest NVIDIA GPUs. So here is my RTX 4070 Ti and I can directly connect this 16 pin power supply to my GPU. So this power supply, it comes with high quality capacitors that help deliver tight voltage regulation and minimal ripple and noise. So this power supply is using a 120 millimeter fluid dynamic bearing fan that provides high airflow when needed. So take a look at the fan curve for this particular power supply. You can see here in this graph that the fan kicks in only when more than 400 watts of power is needed by your PC. So if you are not gaming or if you are not running any resource intensive application, the PSU fans are going to be completely silent. The other thing that I love about this PSU is its modularity. So that means you can get rid of all the extra cables that you don't need in your build. No need to clutter your case with unused cable. Although I am using a giant Antec full tower case, I still appreciate the modular design of this PSU. Okay, now let's take a look at all the power connectors that come with this PSU. So at the top, you get a 16 pin PCIe 5.0 12 volt high power connector. And this is the connector that goes directly in your GPU and it can deliver up to 600 watts of power. So that's more than enough to even run the most power hungry GPU. So something like RTX 4090 and hopefully RTX 5090 whenever it shows up. Next, you get two 8 pin CPU connectors and four 8 pin PCIe connector. You also get 12 SATA connectors and 4 Molex connectors. And finally, there is the 24 pin motherboard connector. Now, I will not be using all these connectors and that's the beauty of the modular design. I can get rid of all the cables that I don't need. I also appreciate the fact that this PSU is quite compact in size compared to typical power supplies, typical 1000 watt power supplies that you will find in the market. It measures 150 millimeter by 140 millimeter by 86 millimeter. So you will be able to use it on a wide range of computer cases. You don't need to get a big ass full tower case that I have. So that means folks who prefer small form factor cases will definitely appreciate the modularity and the compact size of this PSU without sacrificing the total wattage.